Hey folks, my name is Greg Troxell with HarmonyBible.coop and today I'd like to share with you a new resource that we've just created, the Harmony Bible Map. You'll find that here in our menu item for small group resources. Scrolling down, you'll see the list of different resources and here at the bottom presently is where it's listed Harmony Bible Map. Go ahead and click that and you'll get to the interactive map that we've created in Google Maps. Now this interactive map allows you to see the chronology that's been presented section by section by Thomas and Gundry with a overlay of regions that has been designated here clearly by A.P. Stout and a map that he created way back in 1881. The map can be navigated directly on the page using your uh, scroll uh, bar or your mouse to zoom in or zoom out or here in the bottom right hand corner the plus or minus to zoom in or zoom out. As you zoom in you'll see that there are different aspects of the map that is color overlays. These polygons are the regions that we were talking about and then there are pinpoints and squares. The pinpoints and squares and the polygons are all illustrated here in the legend. As you click on a legend item, you can get to that specific uh, element. It will highlight the polygon or go directly to the pinpoint and the event that's happening. So here we see that this pinpoint uh, is in section 6. It is located in the Judean Hills. Uh, it's Mary's visit to Elizabeth, and this is found in Luke chapter 1, verse 39 to 45. It's the only gospeler who tells the story. Here's a quick uh, synopsis of this, the notes. And because of the Christian tradition, we're going to see that this is, in fact, here pointed with a pin, not a square. As you go to other regions, you'll see that the squares designate something that was found in the general region, that is the Judean desert, where John might have been here. John is in person proclaiming in the proclamation and baptism. John preaching there in the Judean desert. Now we've located each one of these in a logical area uh, so that as we see and follow Jesus's journey bit by bit through the chronology that's denoted by each section that you'll be able to see uh, how Jesus may have moved around from one place or another. Just to be clear, you are also free to uh, s select or deselect these little check marks here in the legend, which will turn on and off different phases. Might clean up your map a little bit for you if you want to particularly study one phase or another or turn off the overlay of the region so that you can see the topography. Perhaps you want to turn on the earth view here in the bottom left so that you can see it in a visual color aspect instead of topographical map. Hope you enjoy this feature from HarmonyBible.coop as you continue your study of the scriptures, a gospel-centered view of the harmony of the gospels. God bless you all.